I speak from experience here when I say a lot of us are dying for a professional cut and color. A Wyoming County Barber, though, is asking people to be patient and enjoy that shaggy look. Newswatch 16's Britt Purdy shows us why you may see a lot of mullets in Nicholson. If you're anything like the clients here at Dapper Dan's Classic Cuts in Nicholson, you're probably itching for a professional haircut. Everybody was wearing like skin fades, um, you know, like they wanted their hair short, like gentleman's taper, comb overs, like so that like now that people were so used to that, they want their hair short. So now that they get a little length, they're like losing it. Owner Dan That's Jones fun. says he's been offered That's upwards of $100 for a seat in his barber chair. He tells Newswatch 16 when he closed his doors in March, he vowed to comply with all Governor Wolf's restrictions. He says he won't cut hair until he can do it legally and safely. He's asking people to be patient and moreover to let their hair flow. I figured I would do like a glory days thing. And he's actually offering an incentive to get people to stop begging their barbers to work. Jones, along with several other business owners, are sponsoring a mullet contest. He won't cut the front for you, but he is happy to offer tips to anyone planning to enter. Product. How do I, how, how can I make it grow faster? My comb sales and stuff like that have like gone through crazy. Like, you know, everybody's carrying a comb again. They're combing their hair. The contest is being housed on Facebook in the Nicholson Postings and News Facebook group. To submit your entry, simply post three photos or videos of your new do in the comment section on this post advertising the mullet contest. The winner will get a prize package worth around 100 bucks with a free haircut or hot shave and their best mullet picture posted in all of its 80s glory at several local events. Have a little bit of fun with it. And then not only that, like, you know, so many people like you know, talk about it. Well, I had a mullet when I was in high school and this and that. Like, there's just so much conversation that comes into it. And and I think it's just great. The entry with the most likes by April 30th takes the prize. Britt Purdy, Newswatch 16, Wyoming County.